me has been sort of true or half true. It's my, all my secrets, they think, are on the Internet. And it was a story that I wanted to be in my voice and wanted to tell. And the story at the very end, and I don't care what you ask about, but at the end it's about redemption. And it's about letting people know, I mean, I was an alcoholic, a functioning alcoholic for a while, and then it got to the point where I couldn't function at all. Made some horrible, stupid decisions. But, you know, the, the message of the book is that like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, mm -hmm. you can always go back home. There is a solution. And there are 26 million alcoholics out there and maybe 30 million who aren't in recovery. And it's just better to know you're an alcoholic. And if you think you are one, you might be one. Yeah. It's better to know you're an alcoholic being in recovery uh, than thinking you are and not be. And that's my mantra now. And, you know, I just think people will, we've gone through the Robin Williams thing. We've gone through the Whitney Houston thing. We've gone through um, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are a lot of quote unquote regular people out there that have this problem and it's not the stigma should be gone and we're doing you know a, that you we're doing a series it, on it this week that. as a matter of fact where we talk about drug addiction and and just addiction in general because even with prescription drugs you know it's that's a huge addiction as well but you know it took you four trips to rehab to get sober and you have you have been sober for six years now um, what's been the thing that has come from this sobriety well, I, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm the real me now. I mean, before I, I, was, I got paid to have a big ego. I'm not saying the ego is gone, by the way, and you know that. But, uh, you know, I don't have that fear anymore. I don't have a lot of, I have some resentments. Uh, but, you know, I try to lead my life in a way that uh, a recovered person does. I'm in service mm -hmm. to other people. I help a lot of people. Uh, I get up every morning and plan out my day and how it should be and what I should do. Uh, you know, I took, I had the opportunity, Don, to take a good look at myself and say, I don't like that guy right there. Mm. And I had the opportunity to change myself, transform, get well so that my son can watch me grow up or I can mm. watch him grow up. Maybe watch me grow up. Maybe that's a problem. <laughs> I think that's but, right. Um, yeah. Uh, well, we don't need you ripping me now, do we? <laughs> I mean, come on. What's wrong with you? You know, um, so speaking of that, though, listen, I, I remember now how we became friends. And it was at Dr. Wendy Walsh's um, 50th birthday party. We both roasted her. And you were surprised that I had worse jokes than you did. And I wrote them myself. Remember that? Uh, I, I was surprised because I know you have a battery of people and, and <laughs> that you can pay to write jokes. And I was stunned and how lame they were. Oh, please. Uh, however, let's tell some of those jokes. No, 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 no. <laughs> let's talk about this. Listen, there are great pictures in the book, and it shows you with everyone, from um, your parents, it talks about, you know, growing up, your uh, being the product of the divorce. Uh, I see you here with, with Magic Johnson. I see you in this, in the book, um, with who else here? There's Mike Tyson, there's Muhammad Ali, and then I also see you with your friend, your mustache as well, who's a, been a huge part of your life forever. Did you, did you have that mustache as a baby? Uh, there's a good picture there. Now listen, uh, yeah, I, I um, actually, there's my son, Sean, who's a good looking kid. Um, I, uh, the Irish people have no upper lip. I think that's how it began. Uh, and, and so a lot of, a lot of um, that's why most cops and firemen have uh, mustaches, is uh, and I can't. I, I shaved it off a couple times, and and people say, hey, you look you look great, Pat, with that off. Yeah. And then when I grew it back on, they said, you know what, you really looked awful with that off. So, <laughs> listen, uh, it's it's part of the deal. And and uh, you know, there's only about two or three good mustaches left in the world outside of porn stars. <laughs> See what I mean, everybody? Listen, you're a great guy. I love your transparency, and I, and I love your perseverance. And thank you, Pat O'Brien. The book, again, is called I'll Be Back Right After This. It's by Pat O'Brien. Go pick it up. Thank you, sir. I'll see you soon, okay? Thank you, my friend.